back soon, big brother. To remind you of home. Is this the way to Trondheim? It is. Though I think you'll be finding it a little late in the season to be traveling. Perhaps. The only folks who come to mind would be abroad this time of year are robbers and outlaws. I am neither. No, I suppose you're not. You look too well dressed. <laughs> well, sit down. Rest a while. I meant no offense. So, what be your business in Trondheim? I intend to enlist in the forces of Earl Hacken as a retainer. So, you want to go fight overseas and win fame and plunder by the edge of your sword, do you? There are countless others just like you. Well, if you're going to Trondheim, you'll have your share of trouble. I believe you know all about the outlaw who lives in the ravines. No, I do not. He is a Skagarmather, a forest walker, banished to live the remainder of his days in the wild. They say he is a berserker, one chosen by the Valkyries to serve the god of war, and thus bestowed powers beyond that of other men. In battle he is consumed with such a bloodlust that he feels neither fear nor pain, and his only pursuit is slaughter. I believe he was known as uh, Gunlaug from Undersen years ago, when he had a farm up in uh, Northmoor. Got into a dispute with a man named uh, Atlee Svartor over a horse fight. Killed him in a legal duel, but Atlee's sons wanted revenge. So he killed them too. He strung up their bodies in an old oak tree as a sacrifice to Odin. Gunlaug haunts these woods, some say. He's killed hundreds of travelers, laps up their blood, and eats their flesh raw, like a wolf. A fine tale. A fine tale to scare children into the house at night. You would make a worthy bard, woodcutter. Name's Kettle. I'm Bjorn Thorgerson, from Romsdal. Well, Bjorn, that's the River Orkla out there. You follow that north, and it'll take you to Trondheim. And I spoke no idle word about the outlaw. Be on your guard, especially in the lowlands.
Who are you? Are you the outlaw known as Gunlog Skugarmuthur? I am. You assume I have violent intentions. Do you not? I could always give you the road. I have heard that is not your custom. <laughs> I've killed men true enough. But I do not need to fight you. Yet, you wish to fight me. You long for the chance to test yourself. But that is understandable. Even admirable in your nature. But what greater validation of a man's worth can there be? Than to live by the sword. To die by the sword. It is that purity of violence which you crave, that devotion to war which will earn a man a place in Valhal, if only he dies fighting, sword in hand. I can grant you that honor. Do you desire that? Let me pass. I don't think you're the hardened killer you make yourself out to be. I think you're just another half-crazed hermit who's been living in the woods too long. <laughs> Your perceptions are quite naive. Exciting, isn't it? Your first fight. How long have you dreamed of this moment? Do not fear the sword. You must be ready to die before you are able to kill. Fine blade, a warrior's soul. You are but a boy, unworthy of his father's blade. It lusts for the blood of men. Something I doubt you can provide. You do not deserve the honor of dying by the sword. You are not worthy of Valhal. You're lucky I found you, Bjorn Thorgir, son. I've seen plenty of frozen corpses out here. So, what happened to you? Where'd that sword of yours go? You didn't drop it anywhere, did you? No. I warned you, didn't I? None about this time of year save robbers and outlaws. It was Gunlock. What? How? It, you must be one of the few people that actually see Gunlock and live to tell about it. You're even luckier than I thought. I always wanted to be a warrior. Like my father. I grew up listening to his war stories, of fighting beside the Earl of Trondheim in battles and lands across the sea. My father trained me, and when he gave me his sword, it was, it was like he gave me a piece of himself. Berserkers are men of war. They live for the joy of combat, the joy of killing. There's no shame in returning home. Simply be glad to be among the living. Kettle. I wish to borrow your axe.
Killing a man in his sleep? That isn't a way for a warrior to act. That's better. I will meet you again in the Hall of the Slain.